And we're back with Andrea and HCTV. Hello, Andrea. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Okay. So she was about to try the DNA piece on it. She goes, nah, better not. <laughs> <laughs> better not try it. They're a bunch of alcoholics. There could be. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you're driving down the road one day and all of a sudden you're drunk. That's what it'll do for you. No, just kidding. Um, anyway, we're going to start with a real easy one. We are moving right here to this bracelet right here. Do you want to show them this bracelet? This one? Yeah. Now, Let me see I how don't I figure know. Out how to on a hatch, this. Yeah, it does hook like that, as you can see. And I don't, I don't know if this is silver or not. Yeah, I have to go and look. Just stick it on. <laughs> yeah, just stick it on. Oh, it's, it's very pretty and dainty. Very beautiful. Very princessy. Oh, Ver oh, look at the flash and sparkle. It's like shimmer and shine. You can wear it to a dinner party. Absolutely. High tea. High tea. High tea or low beer, whatever. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't know if that's silver or not. I really have to look. It's very, very pretty though. But let me tell it's you what it is. This is called, oh my God, what was this one called? Oh my God, my brain. Um. Um. It's, I forget what it's called, but it has two names. One's called Meeting in the Middle. And this is a relationship piece where one end features the, the one person and the other end features the second person and they meet in the middle at the stone. And it's, it's a bonding of who they are and what they need to be without, any, without anything or anybody else or finances or anything like that getting in the way but it has a little more magic to it than that but this is terrible i have to i have to pick up the file on this one um this is the only one i i actually didn't pull because i, I pretty much knew what it did but it's it's called meeting in the middle magic it is relationship and love magic one side represents the one person one side represents the other and then they meet in the middle and it creates like a perfect harmony and a perfect balance in the relationship regardless of um, other sides of the family or anybody else they're involved in that could possibly, um, you know, raise questions or issues or even job situations that could cause problems with the relationship. It basically handles those without bringing anything bad to you. So, that's so is balance. this for a single person or a person already in a relationship? This would more be for a person already in a relationship. Okay, just to be clear. Yeah, I mean, I do have pieces like I'm going to show you one next. Actually, I'll do that one next. That is for the single person. Okay, so okay, this one here, this? right here, is for the single person. This is the Cupid pendant I put on a chain. Oh, this one? Yep. Oh. This one helps someone who needs, you might want to look, yeah, there you go. This one helps somebody who needs to find someone. Um, and it's called the Cupid piece, but it's actually a love energy that gets sent out with the help of angels, though. And it brings you your perfect soulmate. And if you've already found your perfect soulmate or think that you have, this will make them realize that you are the one for them as well. Now, what I want to show you is if you look alongside of it, you see what looks like pieces of wheat that are actually in front of them. Hold it still for a second. Th those are pieces of wheat. And behind it is a fern for growth, which is the growth of love. And in front of it is wheat, which is for abundance. And then you have the cupid, um, the dove sure. of love. Everything is all in gold because it should be a golden time. It will be a golden relationship. This is an is a older piece. It's a vintage piece but it is highly, highly effective. This was worn by what was called a love witch, and her last name was Love Witch. That was her name. She was from up in Connecticut, and what she did is she basically just helped people with love and relationships, whether they have issues, whether a person wanted some someone uh, specific, or whether a person just wanted someone to be with in general and you know was single. Um, whether they were married or single, she did all kinds of things, and that's what this piece is. Mm. And now we're going to go to the Luminous Arc, which is right here. This is the Luminous Arc, if you want to dangle that one around. Okay, 
it's and very this, nice. Yeah, I like this one. And if you lay it down, they can probably, yep. This is the Luminous Arc. Now what the Luminous Arc is, this one I did have to actually pull. This is Life Waves and Life Wave and, and Life Streams. This is about your life on the cosmic level and coming together to get what you want. So this basically, it's the arc of the spirit. It's the arc of your life force, but it directs it to the cosmos so that cosmically and magically, you're able to gain everything that you want through um, hard work, through um, just being on the right path of your life to be able to get the things you want, whether it's, um, God, I feel like I was talking about this today. <laughs> Changing jobs. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, changing locations, maybe even changing friends or the people that you're around. Or maybe not changing anything at all, but just changing the path that you're already on. And it helps you do that, and it makes those things happen. So this is called the Luminous Arc, and that's what this piece is. This is a life changer. Now we're going to go on to, um, if you want to show them that keychain. Mm-hmm. This is nothing oh, but protection for being in the car, driving. It's a keychain. It's glass crystals. If you want to set it straight for them so you can see it there. It's not big. It's not gaudy. But it, um, if you're cursed, if you're not cursed, if you just need protection, that's what this piece does. And at the bottom is a set of cherries for you being fruitful in all of your endeavors. So it helps you with a little bit of wealth, but its main goal is protection during travel, driving, flying, whatever. You just put your keys on it. Very inexpensive item and quite a powerful item for protection, to be honest with you. It calls upon your um, ancestral guides. So it's very good. And your ancestral guides, so angels and your ancestral guides are your best for protection because the um, angelic guides are always gonna have your best interest at heart. Your ancestral guides, because you're of their bloodline, are always going to have your best interest at heart. So that's that. Now we're going to move to the astral travel piece, which is this one. This, uh, right there, that bracelet. You want to put it on? Yeah, you can put that on. None of these fit me. Well, they, they can my, all... My all arm of, um, is so skinny. I think this one is sterling silver. I can't tell. It's real turquoise. It should fit normal people. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's real turquoise and blown glass. Um, art glass actually and it's a very 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 pretty piece um, what this actually has blue turquoise and green turquoise in it I believe yes it does yeah, so that's what it looks like um, how it would look on your wrist and this piece is strictly astral travel with an Indian guy to help you learn magic um, elemental magic nature magic Animal communication, spirit communal communication, ancestral communication, um, protection, um, in inheritance of your cultures of your culture's natural magical abilities. That's all what this piece does. Okay. Very nice piece. Now I'm gonna stop and move on to the next few, and then we will be done for tonight.